Aparna and welcome to Aparna's magic. Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. For that, we need boiled potatoes or uble hue aloo. This is onion or pyaaz. This is tomato puree, one cup. This is mashed boiled potato or uble hue aloo. This is ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasun ki paste. This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is Kashmiri red chilli powder. This is kitchen king masala. This is imli ki paste that means tamarind paste. This is gur or jaggery. This is jeera or cumin seeds and red dry chilli or sukhi lal mirchi. This is chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves. This is garam masala powder. This is hing or asafoetida. And this is ghee. Our oil is nicely heated up. So we are going to fry the boiled potatoes. Or oble hue aloo. Let them fry for a while. They are nicely fried. So we are going to take them out. Now in the same oil put two red dry chili or sukhi lal mirchi and one tablespoon of jeera that means cumin seeds. Let them crackle. Add one teaspoon of this is heen or asafoetida. Mix it. Now add one cup of tomato puree. One tablespoon of this is ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasun ki paste. Mix it again. Add one teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder, one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, one teaspoon of this is kitchen king masala, and salt to taste or namak. Mix it nicely. And let them cook for a while. They have been cooking for 5 to 6 minutes now. So in this stage add 1 teaspoon of this is imli ki paste. That means tamarind paste. Add little bit of gur or jaggery. Mix it. Now add mashed boiled potato or uble hue aloo. This will thicken the gravy. Add onion or pyaaz. Add fried potatoes or fried aloo. Add water or pani little bit and mix it nicely. Now let them cook for a while. They have been cooking for 10 minutes now. It is almost done. Send the stage. Add 1 teaspoon of this is garam masala powder. Add chopped dhaniya patta, that means chopped coriander leaves. Add one teaspoon of ghee into it. Now mix it gently. And you are done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel
friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need cauliflower or gobi here it takes 300 grams of cauliflower or gobi this is fried onion or fried peas or birista this is dried kasuri methi this is jeera or cumin seeds and red rice chili or sukhi lal mirchi this is haldi powder or turmeric powder this is kashmiri red chili powder this is dhania powder that means coriander powder this is amchur powder that means dried mango powder this is yogurt or dahi this is adrak that means ginger and dhania patta that means chopped coriander leaves this is garam masala powder and this is ghee we need to grind this is fried onion or fried peas or birista add adrak that means ginger and 2 tablespoon of yogurt or dahi now we will grind it with little bit of water or pani very little we have finished grinding our oil is nicely heated up so put two red dry chili or sukhi lal mirchi and one tablespoon of this is jeera or cumin seeds let them crack up now add the gobi or cauliflower add 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder 1 teaspoon of this is dhania powder that means coriander powder 1 teaspoon of this is amchur powder that means dried mango powder and salt to taste or namak mix it nicely and let them fry for a while they have been frying for 5 to 6 minutes now since this did add the paste into it mix it now add dried kasuri methi lots of kasuri methi mix it again add little bit of water or pani and let them cook for a while they have been cooking for 10 minutes now so it is almost done this in the stage add One teaspoon of this is garam masala powder. Add chopped dhania patta that is chopped coriander leaves. And one teaspoon of ghee into it. Now mix it gently. You're done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel.